Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Tailwind development environment on Windows. Okay, let's get started. First of all, I will talk about the software that you need to install on your computer. So you have to install Visual Studio Code on your computer. I recommend you download this one and install it on your computer. The next software that you need to install on your computer is Node.js. So you go to nodejs.org and then you download this long-term support version which is over here click download it and install it on your computer the installation is pretty simple just click next 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 until it's done and the next step you need to know how to read tailwind documentation you go to tailwindcss.com and then you click on get start it will tell you how to install tailwind on your computer by using tailwind cli technique Okay, you have to run this command on terminal. Okay, let's create a new folder on desktop. So I'm going to name it Tailwind Starter. I drop this folder on Visual Studio Code to open it. Okay, you will see it's open Tailwind Starter folder for me in Visual Studio Code. Click on terminal, new terminal. You have to make sure that your computer has been installed Node.js. You type node-v. It will show Node.js version over here if you have installed it on your computer completely. Next, I want you to create package.json file by type npm in it and hit enter, enter, and enter, and enter, 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 until it's done. It will create package.json over here. The next step, you need to run this command. Copy this command and Paste it over here. It will download and install Tailwind on dev dependency for you. You will see dev dependency over here and have Tailwind version 3 over here. And you will see that no smart folder has been created over here. The next step, you need to run this command to create tailwind.config.js. Paste this over here. Hit enter, you will see these files. The next step, you need to specify the path for HTML. You can copy this one and put it over here. For me, I'm going to create HTML files in this folder instead of source folder. I create this folder over here, this, and I create index over here, index.html. So instead of using source folder, I have to use this folder. And I don't really need these stars over here. Okay, save it. The next step that I have to do is to create input files and source folder. Okay, let's create source folder over here, source folder. And then create input.cs. Then I will copy this directive tailwind. Paste it over here. The next step, you need to run this command to compile input.cs to get output.cs here you will get output.cs all right enter okay output.cs has been created we can use output with our html so let me create html and let me import output.cs over here let me import this one output.cs output.cs okay save it let's create our h1 hello tailwind and put class over here bg red 400 if you need suggestion like this like this you see we have suggestion you need to install tailwind intellison tailwind this one intellison you have to install it to get suggestion i can put 300 i go back to here the next step I want to run this with live server, open with live server. So I right click on index.html and then click on open with live server. Your computer won't have live server if you don't install live server. I recommend you install this plugin so you can run index.html with live server. Okay. Okay, let's run it with live server. See, you will see Tailwind works. Uh, but when you 
uh, stop service control C and press Y over here. Every time you run the project, you need to run this command every every time. You see, you have to run this command if, every time. So it is hard to remember this command. So how can you fix it? So I will copy this command and I go to package.json. Over here, I can type dev and I just paste that command over here. We don't really need npx over here because we run npm. Okay, save it. So instead of run this command every time you want to compile the project, you just type npm run dev, hit enter. So it's work. So let me change the background color to green. Save. It's rebuild output files for me. You will see we get green. You can even change output.cs to other names. You go to package.json. This is input, right? I is, is input. So input is this files. So output is this file. So we can change this to style. Save. And then we go back to index. We have to import style. Save. See, it will rebuild for me, but you have to stop the service because you change package.json. You change this one, you have to stop it and start it again. npm run dev. Hit enter. Let me change this to blue. Save. See, it's work. And you can delete outputs.cs over here because we use styles.cs. In the future, when this website is done, you just upload these two files, index.html and style.cs into your host. All right, this is all about this video. Don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.